Okay, this video you will be able to learn how to convert improper fraction into a mixed fraction. So you have this, you know, I put down this for your convenience. You can read it, pause it, read it and come back and I'm going to show you actually how to do this. Okay, so I'm going to go down here we have uh, some problem as you see, a couple of problem. I have four problem. We'll go over those four problem. Okay, so I'm going to do the first one here you go so first one before i start doing this right 21 over 2 so what is this this is like a division sign in the middle right and of course you have this is called divisor and that is this is called divisor as you see i'm going to show you here actually okay so this is a divisor okay that's called divisor and this is called dividend okay we need this concept in order to do the long division so sometimes our mix improper fraction would be big so that times we really need uh, the concept of this uh, long division okay so i'm going to have a side note for a so for a side note is going to be i'm going to have a long division here so 2 divided by 21 and which is 10 times 2 which is 20 and 1 is left over so i want to make sure that you understand this is going to be your remainder and this is going to be your whole number bingo we're done so this one has a structure a mixed fraction has a structure of like that okay so you have a whole number you got a whole number you got a remainder and you got a denominator remember you got to use the same denominator it's never change denominator never change okay so we're going to actually work it out here now plug this in so we whole number we found as a 10 to the right side if you want to take a look 10 our denominator is going to be same and the remainder was one so that's it this is our answer so you can circle it you can identify it separately too that is your answer now i'm going to do b letter b right so letter b again we're going to do the long division here so i'm going to do here three and 101 and of course 3 goes to 10 3 times 3 times 3 is 9 okay in other words when i say 3 goes to 10 it's basically i'm referring to 10 divided by 3 okay it's the same thing so you have one left over 3 doesn't go to 1 so then you bring down 1 okay so now 3 goes to 11 in other words 11 divided by 3 which is 3 3 times 3 is 9 and of course there is a remainder too so i want to make sure we uh, you know understand that that's the remainder and that's the whole number okay so this note is for b okay this note is for b notice that i'm going to put down this line here so that is for b and this one is for a okay so we are ready to get the answer yeah so the whole number was 33 Denominator is same, which is going to be the same denominator, and the remainder was two. I just showed you the work to the right side, okay, for your note convenient, right? So let's do the C and D, okay? Then we should be good on this, right? So again, we do the long division. So how do we do the long division? So we got seven, and of course five hundred seven in the inside, okay? So seven goes to 57 times in other words i hope you understand when i say 7 goes to 50 in other words this is 50 divided by 7 is 7 so 7 times 7 is 49 okay so the remainder here is basically all coming down the difference is here is 1 i shouldn't say remainder difference 7 doesn't go to 1 in other words 1 cannot be divisible by 7 so we must bring down the 7 here okay bring down this 7 okay so 7 is down here 7 now goes 17 twice in other words 2 times 7 is 14 so remainder is 3 so let's take a look here we do this here actually so that's our remainder and that is our whole number now once we can do that we are ready to actually get the answer actually we have the answer ready all you have to do just look for it so what is the answer so that will give you 72 as a whole number same denominator look i'm not changing the denominator and our remainder is three so guess what 
this is our answer this is our answer okay 72 whole and 3 seventh okay that is the mixed fraction out of an improper fraction given 5 or 7 over 7 okay now look at the next problem here next one you're going to see oh, a lot of work must be done here right well it's not that bad if you look into here to, with me okay so this one i'm going to do the same thing long division i'm going to have this 1907 in other words 1907 okay so 9 goes to 19 twice which is 18 in other words 19 divided by 9 which is 2 and that is going to give you 18 so what is left over one left over okay guys so one is not divisible by nine in other words nine doesn't go to one right so we bring down zero so let's take a look here we bring down zero here okay bring down zero so we bring down zero now tell me please nine goes to ten how many times in other words ten divided divisible by nine which is one okay so that is going to be nine here okay so still one is left over here right so now we can do the same we just bring down the we just bring down that seven all the way down here okay and that will allow us to write as a seven okay now nine goes to 17 again how many time is going to go to 17 nine times two is 18 no we cannot okay it's exceeded so even though it looks like a big number it's going to go only one time okay one time which is nine okay which is nine what is the rim left over eight seventeen dollar take away nine dollar is eight dollar or seventeen taka take away is you know say take away nine is eight taka right so basically you have remainder is eight and that's the whole number we are ready to get the answer guys here you go that's the answer so 211 is the whole number 211 is the whole number same denominator nothing changed and remainder is 8 and therefore we get our mixed fraction even though it looks so big still you can do that so first what we did we divide the numerator by the denominator we keep the whole number for it in the whole number of the mixed fraction and if there is any remainder we put down the numerator of the mixed fraction and of course we keep the same denominator and that's how you convert it and that's all basically thank you for watching this video i hope you understand thank you